Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we've got topics to go through and some very exciting ones getting to the end of this transfer window. So leave a like on this video. We'll go for 100 again. Thank you very much for hitting that button. Let's move straight into it. We have a report coming from Rick Elfrink, someone I'm not too aware of. I haven't heard much of them, but they are followed by, as you can see, Simon Phillips from Richard Mano, um, supposedly a very reliable journalist. And they say, new in tonight, Chelsea contacts PSV to sign midfielder Ibrahim Sangar. And then it's translated here and the fee being mentioned is about 40 to 45 million euros i've heard about 40 million pounds mentioned as well so i think it's somewhere you know in that 40 to low 40 range um and this is obviously huge so we've all been crying out as fans for midfield reinforcements especially a defensive midfielder and ibrahim sangar is definitely that 24 year old right footed and as you can see by his positions here defensive mid and central mid very tall and physical strengths for his ball interceptions positioning and tackling with no outstanding weaknesses if you guys might remember i think i remember talking about him like over a year ago um as a player that chelsea were interested in this year made three appearances actually managed to score two goals um out of those three appearances and that's when you expect from a defensive mid um and his overall stats are looking pretty good aerial duels a little weak so far this season but it's a very small sample size it's only three games in if we take more, a uh, look more at this year, uh, the previous one, you're looking at 29 total appearances, three goals, two assists. Um, the, the passing numbers are pretty decent. You know, they're not outrageous, but the long ball is about 63%. They're decent. But here you can see aerial duels won 74% and ground duels 61% with only four yellow cards. And you can see the, the numbers here, the, the average um, rating numbers that he's putting up are outstanding. So Chelsea going in for him, about £40 million, that is a brilliant sign. Um, only 24 years old as well. Yes, he is coming from the Eredivisie, which we know can be a dodgy league to buy from at times. Um, we've seen it a little bit on the, some of the international stages and the European stages as well. Some decent performances in the Champions League as well, some, but... I think he would be a good option for Chelsea. Tall, physical, a bit of a you know a destroyer in that midfield. Kante really not capable of staying fit at the moment. So having another option that's capable of protecting the back line, I think will be something Chelsea really need to get over the line. Whether we can do it, I don't know. It's very late for Chelsea to be going in on this one and trying to get it done. Um, it does say in this other report, it is expected that PSV will sell one of Sangar or Cody Gapko before tomorrow night. Cody Gapko, I think, has been linked to maybe Newcastle. I can't remember those reports. Um, but he's uh, the striker, I believe he is, that Chelsea have been vaguely linked to. But I don't think we're still looking at him. So it's one of Sangar or Gapko if anyone is going before deadline day. Um, and I'm really excited about this one. This one is huge. But not only that, we're going to sort of string two topics together here because they're in a similar vein. David Ornstein, very reliable for Chelsea, saying Chelsea have made an offer to sign Ajax defensive mid Edson Alvarez. Chelsea interest raised today and a 50 million euro included add-ons. A bid has been submitted as reported by uh, Mike uh, Verwager. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, but yeah, he's the first one that broke it. A 24 year old Mexican international uh, targeted to strengthen their number six area. And if we take a look at him, again, 24 years old, in the area of easy decently tall not as tall right footed and um, you can see he could cover sort of center back i've seen a lot of people saying that he's more of a center back converted to a dm whereas ibrahim Sengar is a sort of more natural defensive mid positioning and aerial duels are his strengths with no outstanding weaknesses i guess it's good to have the versatility of being able to play a bit further back if needed this season again we can't really go off the stats too much but three appearances no goals two assists so decent Passing numbers very similar to Ibrahim Sangar's. And then the aerial ones again, 34, 67%. They're not outstanding. But if we look further down here, they the numbers are pretty good. You're looking at 31 appearances, five goals, one assist here in the past season. Passing numbers again looking pretty strong. 55% uh, ground duels one and 67 in the air. So a small drop off. You can see the average ratings aren't quite as high as uh, Ibrahim Sangar but still looking like a very solid player and this one's looking at about 50 million so a bit more expensive um by the looks of it chelsea aren't putting all their eggs in one basket it seems that we will make the offer for ibrahim sangar as you can see here we'll make the offers for edson uh, alvarez 
and the hope being that at least one of them comes through. If both are accepted by the clubs and both uh, players end up agreeing contracts, then maybe Chelsea will choose one or the other. But we're sort of going for a very late scattergun approach and being like, right, we've we got we know these guys are good players. We'll target them and see if we can get it done. It's very late to be trying it. I think the Eredivisie um, league, the transfer window, closes a day earlier than the Premier Leagues. I'm not sure I've seen this mentioned. So if that is to happen, then maybe you know they'll want this done a bit sooner. And it could literally be a case of the, the coming hours, you know, this next day or so that this gets done. So maybe by the time you guys see this, there'll be a, a newer update. I'm sorry if that's the case. My preference out of the two would be Ibrahim Sangare. I think the numbers just show he's a bit more of an all-rounded player. If you look at the sort of spread chart in the middle here, you can see the, the ratings. Whilst they're not, you know, solid, you can't go off them completely. If I compare Sangare there... To Alvarez you can see that they are uh, fairly improved the numbers but I wouldn't be unhappy with getting Edson Alvarez apparently he is pushing for the move I've seen reports saying that he has requested that Ajax allow him to go essentially um, which you know understandable it's a big move for him the only good news is this with this is that Ajax are a very heavy selling club you know they bring these players in that they know are going to be good and they are willing to let them go if you know the right money comes in and they just print money on players that they sell so 50 million euros i think is a fair offer from chelsea whether it gets accepted though i'm not too sure the psv eindhoven i think i don't know as much about them and their you know transfer policies and stuff so i don't know if they are likely to let someone like ibrahim sangare go so late when you know look at his appearances last season he was so crucial through the entire middle of the pitch there you can see not going too far forward he's not gonna end up in the box or anything like that but 7.37 average rating over the year is just brilliant and no major injuries you can see here one little blip there and other than that he was fine so very well could be a good Kante replacement um more traditional Kante Kante these days plays a bit all over the place but there was a time in his career when he was a sort of defensive mid and he would cover that back line a lot more now he's a you know box to box he can sort of cover all over the pitch um so yeah very exciting times for Chelsea one of Sangar or Gapko is going so that maybe leans me more likely to think that Sangar will go because there's no signs that Edson Alvarez is going to be allowed to leave whereas PSV Eindhoven by the sounds of it are open to letting one of them go but not both so if Chelsea are going to do it we're going to have to act quick it sounds like we're going to do that because Cody Gapko has got some interest in him so we'll have to watch that one there and see how it goes of course I'll keep you guys up to date but that's going to be the end of the video guys if you did enjoy please be sure to leave a like we'll go for 100 on this video again thank you very much for hitting the button subscribe notification bell you'll never miss out on a future video thank you for watching I'll see you on the next one goodbye